how have the last two games been for you? Is it kind of hard because you've had that high of clinching the title and it's now kind of the countdown towards, you know, getting the trophy then Scottish Cup final day? Uh, yeah, I guess it's a somewhat strange place to be in, but a nice place to be in, obviously, when you've got such a a point gap, I guess, between the teams below you. It's, it's nice. Um, but at the same time, we know we've got the the cup final to look forward to, so these games leading up to it are good preparation, so we would like to, you know, get some good results, obviously. Yeah, how do you approach this game tomorrow night? Just like any other game. It's a good chance to, I don't know, play our best football. Uh, we probably haven't played our very best in the last couple of games, um, so I think tomorrow's a chance to, to get back to that level and then really finish the season strong. Hi, Matt. Good to see you. Um, your manager admitted in the last couple of games that there has been this kind of drop off, which, again, you've spoken about there being quite natural because you've kind of crossed the line. But I just wonder how you how you go about reversing that drop off. Is you, have you done anything specific in, in training? Have you spoken about anything specifically at all? Uh, we spoke about it. We we addressed it in you know the analysis when we watched the games back from before in terms of things we can do better. Uh, I think we're quite aware of certain little things we can tweak uh, and I think hopefully tomorrow we should see a change. Can you let us into a secret as to what the things that you can do better and what things you are looking to tweak a little bit? I think, I don't know, I think some of it probably just comes down to, you know, a mindset kind of thing, just being really ruthless uh, every game. I know it's natural to drop off slightly, you know, uh, because we've already won, won the league, but the team we are, we don't want to be able to do that and we want want to set a high a high standard every single game, so tomorrow we'll, we'll try and do that again. Hi Matt, how kind of, you talk about the kind of drop off there, but how big a motivation is it for the players to rediscover that kind of top form as, as you are chasing treble and have this cup final coming up in um, a couple of weeks? Yeah, we know it's important to, to perform well consistently, that's how you get results, not in terms of just focusing on the outcome and result, we need to play well, um, and obviously the Cup final is probably in the back of everyone's minds and I think from us ourselves it's about being consistent everyday training wise which I think we have been regardless of the recent results but doing that consistently and then really implementing a, a ruthless mindset when we go into the game tomorrow and on Saturday. It's, um, it's tomorrow night, what's your kind of memories from playing at East Road this season, what, what sort of test are you expecting uh, from that game? <sighs> not, not too sure, you know every game poses different different difficulties. Last game St Mirren they were very compact so it was tough to break them down. Hibs will probably be slightly different um, but we've got our, our system we've got enough ways to, to break down defences so I think as long as we're prepared with, with our game plan it should be, should be fine. Hi Matt, just continuing on there, you have been really successful against Hibs this season, 13 goals, 3 games. Why do you think You've been so successful against that specific opponent and, and how important is it to keep that run going against them? Uh, I don't know why it's been why we scored 13 goals against them as opposed to other teams. I'm not sure. I mean, we might have just played really well those days, you know, and been very ruthless. That's probably the simple answer. Um, I think if we create chances like we usually do and, and we're clinical, then we'll score goals. Last game, we could have scored more than two goals for sure. So, you know, at the same time, it comes down to being ruthless, that ruthless mindset. Obviously, the big game that's in your mind is is the cup final. You want to be in the team for the cup final, but how much can you use these kind of final two games to to not only put yourself in the manager's thoughts for the cup final, but also going forwards? You know, trying to cement your place in that starting eleven because before you know it, the league starts again, Champions League football. I know there's a break before then, but but it's important to 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 keep yourself fresh in the manager's mind and cement your place in the starting eleven, isn't it? Yeah, of course it's important. I mean. Every player wants to perform well naturally for them, for themselves and for the team. Um, I don't know. It's a hard question. Personally, I'd, I'd like to try and play well every single game. That's obviously naturally your aim, and I don't do it just with the manager's thoughts in the back of my head. I do it because I get a lot of satisfaction from performing well on a football pitch. Um, so every time I step out there, I try to do that, and I'm sure the rest of the boys have a similar mindset. Hi hey Matt, the team, the team have come a long way since you came in and a long way since last season. What have you made in the difference to the team from the title running last season to this season and where do you think we've improved? I know there's been a wee drop-off 
in form over the last couple of games, but before that we were relentless. Yeah, I think naturally when you've spent you know 18 months together since I've been here anyway, um, playing with players, getting to understand them, getting to understand the system that the manager wants you to play, I think naturally over time you should see improvements just in terms of team cohesion and understanding of each other. So I think that's probably been the big one, real understanding and clarity of the system and the way we play because when you step on a football pitch and you're, you're clear on what you need to do, it's a lot easier to, to implement it. What about in terms of yourself? Uh, how have you seen improvements in yourself in the, over the, this season? And is there any personal goals that you had from the start of the season that you've hit or have yet to hit? Good question. Uh, yeah, I think it's been a long season, but a quick season to put it, you know, to put it in a weird way. Um, no, it's been it's been good. It's been a really good experience. I think just naturally, the more football you play, the more experience you get, the more you, the more you learn. Um, I think experience is probably the best teacher in life, both on and off the pitch. So, for me, just the different experience I've been involved in, also playing a different position for a, you know quite a chunk of the season when Cal was injured has probably helped me quite a lot in terms of the defensive side of my game. Um, that's probably been the big one because I think I've probably become a lot more aggressive and probably a bit more defensively aware in certain situations, um, which I think which will help me going forwards. Uh, and yeah, individually, I don't, I don't set too many specific goals. I try to consciously try and try and improve myself each day. To be honest, I go I go about every single day thinking, how can I be better today? What little tweaks can I make? What little things can I improve? And that's what I've tried to do over the course of the season. Uh, yeah, I'm not so bad. Thank you very much. Uh, just. Um would like to talk about set pieces. Uh, not really a, a huge part of our game in a way. Some teams really rely upon set pieces. Um, but you are quite often uh, responsible for taking corners. And I think you've said before about the blade of grass, which shows where the wind's going. So how much time and training do you spend on that personally? And who's who's leading the set piece uh, coaching? Uh, so Gavin Strachan, he leads the both defensive and attacking set play stuff. Um, Usually, day before a game, I'll practice a couple corners, specifically in my free kicks. Uh, I don't do it every day. I trust my de delivery in terms of that's those sorts of uh, situations for the most part. Uh, so it's not something I work on relentlessly. I probably work on other stuff a bit more. But in terms of the structure and that side of things, I'll often speak with Carl and a couple other players about which areas we're trying to hit in, in the game. Uh, and to be honest, I do think we can get better at being a bit more of a threat um, naturally we're not the biggest team we all know that and we obviously like to play really nice nice football but if we can add that other layer to our game more consistently I think it will make us a, a really dangerous team yeah totally agree and um, yeah um, and I know we don't like to talk about the future because it's all about the next game but uh, Hibs are uh, fighting for fourth place for European football obviously a massive incentive for them uh, do you allow yourself any thoughts about upcoming Ch Champions League football or is that strictly just uh, verboten until it comes comes along? I mean, yeah, you, you allow the thoughts because you can't help the thoughts from, from coming, you know. They're naturally going to come because Champions League is obviously the stage everyone wants to play at and it's where I probably had most fun playing football this season, to be completely honest, just because it's such a good level. Um I don't think it's wrong to think about that now by any means. I think it's a good sense of motivation and gives you some exciting, excitement for things to come. Um, but in regards to Hibs, I wouldn't say we're thinking too much about their situation in terms of what they're fighting for. I think that's that's out of our hands. If we go about business like we can do, then all should be well. I was just using that as an excuse to talk about Champions League, to be fair, but uh, there we go. Thanks so much. Cheers, mate. And Cheryl, please. Hi, Matt. You touched on it there, but Hibs do still have something to play for in terms of their league position, as St Mirren did at the weekend. Is that difficult to play against when you guys have already sewn up the league and you are looking ahead to that cup final now? Yeah, I guess it can be if you look at it in a certain way. If we approach it the way we we should, and that being it's just another game where we can really impose our football and show everyone the kind of team that we are, then I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, 
these next two games are very good preparation for the cup final. So I think playing at a high level is very important. Was it difficult to keep the focus on the, the last two games and the, and the countdown towards that game that could potentially win the club a treble? I don't think so, because you know when you play for a club like this, the demands are so high um, in that every game we're supposed to win, you know. Um, so I think it's it's not easy to take your foot off the gas here just purely because you're at Celtic and you're at a club which demands so much, you know.